With its gorgeous pastry-coloured stone and sweeping Georgian architecture, Bath embodies a special kind of English romance. But its reputation as a romantic city is also down to its most famous former resident. Jane Austen left Bath in obscurity more than 200 years ago, but she went on to sell millions of novels and conquer Hollywood. I've come to Bath to find out why it is that she still exerts such a hold on all our imaginations. Hello. Hello. You must be Jackie. Yes, I am. I, I, I picked you out of the crowd. <laughs> yes. Looking at you, I feel like Jane Austen is a living presence in Bath. But that you're not the only person who continues her legacy no. by dressing up. What's the motivation? Why do people want to do that? What's I the... think they want to grab a bit of um, the romance of those days. Of, because to us now it seems romantic. The pace of the time, the fact that men were gentlemen. Uh, I'm sure you're a gentleman. But, Thank but... you. <laughs> of course I am. I wonder, is, is there any way I can immerse myself in it a little more fully? Oh yes, I'm sure we can. We could tidy you up and get you sorted out Regency style, I'm sure. I, I know the ideal person. I'd like to introduce you to Martin Salter, who he can teach etiquette and the way to dress and the way to hold yourself. Thank you, sir. What do we have here? And here we have the uh, King Spring at the uh, Pump Rooms Complex. And this is why Bath is Bath. That's correct. These, yes. are, the, these are the springs. And this is what Jane Austen would have come here for. Yes, yeah, she would have done. She probably wouldn't have bathed in the water, but she would have come here with her parents. So what's happens now? Well, I'm going to. I'm going to become a Regency gentleman and you're going to take me to a ball, is that correct? That's correct. We're going to learn you a little etiquette and manners of the day. Okay. So, Marcel, Sir. the correct stance for a gentleman, yes. especially at the ball, would be no slouching. Okay. No. Tummy in. I uh, will. Okay. Chest out. Yes. Shoulders back. Yes. Um, your feet in a V. Your feet in a V. Because you'll be hopefully dancing with your feet in this position. Oh, go on. Yeah, you, you walk down the street like this, at an angle, pointing. Pointing the toe, really? Yeah, like it's chest it. day. You'd have to walk down the, like yeah. one of the like the monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> or, or a pigeon, sir. Or yes. a pigeon. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going to... Splendid. Or a uh, penguin. Chest day, sir, buttocks down. Buttocks down, stomach in. Point. Showing your calf muscle, you show your calf muscle off. Is your chest out, sir? Definitely. See how graceful it is. Well, it is when you look very graceful. Yes, I feel it's weird. It's graceful, isn't it? And point, chest out, tummy in. I'm graceful. How graceful. Look at me, ladies. How graceful. Be, you know, don't be shy. Show it off. <laughs> Splendid. Practice that all the way home I until will. you go to the ball, sir. I will, I'll practice that all the way. Well, thanks very, very much. All right, excellent. Yes, if you would like to disrobe them. I'm not wearing 18th century underpants, Martin. But don't worry about that. I'm much obliged to you for your not at good all. offices. I've been a valet to many a fine gentleman. I've never had a valet before. I'm going <laughs> to miss you tomorrow when I don't have one at all. Oh. Is this I like, your is this liking? Really you look? I think I could wander around Tooting Broadway dressed yeah, like this. I don't yeah. think I would get a second glance. Looks rather nice, sir. Most dashing. Most obliged to you for saying so, my good man. My lords, ladies, and gentlemen, may I present to you Mr. Marcel Theroux. I thank you. I'm dancing with a bloke. That bit's hard. Bow, inside hand. But I've got to kick, I've got to start. You know, I've got to initiate it. Would you give me a hand? Oh, God. I got completely confused.
it's very hard. I'm a little breathless. <laughs> I did say it was quick. Yeah, it is. Uh, it's good aerobic exercise. <laughs> it couldn't be more on trend than that. Great. That was fun. Let's do it again. Look in her eyes. She likes that. Okay. I think the, the romance of Bath is that it's already a beautiful period town and it embodies, it captures some of the spirit of the early 19th century, late 18th century. But what makes it doubly pleasant is that there are people here, wonderful kind of eccentric enthusiasts who recreate the costumes and the dances of those times and are keeping those traditions alive so we can all take part in them. I always think that one of the romances of travel is secretly time travel. I and mean, that's what I felt this evening, that I was, and I wasn't at a Regency ball. But I just got a little glimpse of how our ancestors would uh, cut a dash. Probably not my ancestors, actually, because they were shopkeepers and they wouldn't have been allowed in. But uh, other people's ancestors <laughs> would have cut a dash in about 1810.